Yo, welcome Fronies. Today I'm going to show you how to get the highest value out of your Bristol contract tokens, how to increase your farm speed and what is the best farm spot. The first thing we need to do to max our value is to get the highest possible Abyssal contract token efficiency. You do this by collecting 25 army toys in total. You can see it here. Then next up, what we want is the item chance from the PAL synergy. And then you can go and click the, the army toys and see how to acquire to find out where to get it from. Next up, what you always want to be have running is the food crab meat pie. This is giving you 50% Solent increase and 10% contract token efficiency. As a side, all the great successes that you get here by crafting that food can easily be sold for a decent amount of Lucent on the auction house. If you are one of those people saying that they don't need any more Solent because they have enough of the supplies, then you can also go and craft the golden apple pie but that will then increase the mastery exp on your weapons. I'm personally more a fan of the crab meat pie because Solent will be endless supply needed. And here the mastery, you will get them to 16 anyways. And if it takes like what, like half a day longer, it doesn't really matter. So when you want to roll scrolls for Asylum of Abyss, you always want to make sure that you get here the good reward. And then you only want to roll Steel Claw and lethal venom and you will keep rolling until you get the reward that you want and this combination with either the magic tomb or the soul brazier you never want to roll for any of the others like demon hoof those that's not what you want to fight so here we have it again steel claw lethal venom and i got the reward that i want pick it I never want to have any of the bosses and the re-rolling is quite cheap it doesn't cost that much soul in, so you can do it easy so we got it again with the soul brazier again so now all of those four quests can be completed and on one location that is really close and that's the fastest way to farm silas abyss floor five sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe so now let's go to the Silas Abyss best location, like I said, together. Okay, so here. We are going to the port and we're going to port to floor number five. Floor number five, we will see this area right here. This is where we want to head to. The first part, we can continue flying. And always make sure if you see other people fighting mobs that you need, for your quest, tag them, because this will give you actually the quest reward. Not the loot, but the quest reward. And always make sure that you have your rare crab meat pie active for the extra soul and bonus and token efficiency. Token efficiency can also be gained if you collect 25 army toys as a total amount and by stacking certain pulse synergies on your army toys together. You always want to have as much token efficiency as possible. And then here, if you go onto those little hills, you can always jump over with a fly, no matter how the platform is currently rotated. That saves you some time. Here we start to ignore basically everything. We still need to continue, but don't worry. The amount of time that it takes to get there is worth it. And all the other spawns are also not that much shorter to get to. And you will see that you have everything on one location here.
Because the first thing of what you want is ac easy access to the sealed magic tomb. This one we will find right here at the end of this location. And instead of staying here, we will just drop down. In here we will now see already the monsters, both of them that we need. And the good thing is around that location on that floor here, it will only spawn those monsters, nothing else, only this. So it's the perfect one to complete all of our quests if we have rolled them like I've said. And we don't have to move. And the only thing that is now missing for a perfect quest farm is actually a team. So if you're down here and you see people, always try to group up as six. Loot is not shared, that means you will always have more value if you group up with people and deal more damage. And here you will see, this is the third one, the soul brazier. Now we have all the ingredients on one spot to farm well here. Yeah guys, and this is it. This is how you farm the Silas Abyss floor five and six contracts the fastest way for the best value. If you still have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.